Hello there monsters and men, ladies and people and welcome to Recharging and welcome again to Germany where I will do a top speed range test with the BMW i4. Yes, the BMW i4, not the M50, no, this is the E-Drive 40, so rear wheel drive only. Why not the M50? Well, for once I did not want the top of the range model like you normally get when getting a press car. No, I wanted to do not that so therefore here is the e-drive 40 and yes i know the m50 can do 220 kilometers an hour and this car can only do 190 kilometers an hour but at least for me that does not spoil the fun what are my predictions of this car what can it do while driving top speed 190 kilometers an hour well this car is ridiculously efficient it is literally Tesla Model 3 efficient. It is really impressive. And I think this car can do more than 200 kilometers while driving top speed. And keep in mind, then you can drive for more than an hour top speed. I can't think of any car that uh, can do that. I cannot think of any car that I have tested that can drive for more than an hour on their top speed um, before draining the battery. I hope it can do that. I hope it can make that prediction. It would be really impressive. What is the weather? Well, the wind is picking up a little bit and well, it is fall now, getting to winter, it is getting colder. It is around 10 degrees when I will be doing the test. So the car uh, will charge to more than 90% and then I will go and drive like a maniac. Okay, here I go. It took a little bit longer than expected. Not the charging, but the food there at McDonald's. Man, it was so insanely busy. I waited half an hour for my food at McDonald's. Never happened to me before. Yeah, never happened to me before. Anyway, here is the traffic light. There is the autobahn. I will set the navigation back to the charger here so I know how far I have to drive back to the charger. There's a car in front of me who doesn't go as quickly. Come on, I am doing an autobahn test here. I wanna do some excitement. You probably can't see shit because well, it is very dark already at half past eight. Man, go so quickly, right? In summer, you have nice light until 11, 11-ish. And now half past eight, completely dark. And then doing in dark a top speed range test and driving 190 kilometers an hour you get some sweaty hands from time to time so I can tell you that 170 this car is so quiet it gets a bit noisier now because well I'm doing 190 kilometers an hour for God's sake but until 150 kilometers an hour this car is really quiet I started with 99% though and that is because well I had to wait a very long time for my food anyway let's cruise I am doing, yes, everything is, everything is correctly. I, I will focus on the road. I have to focus on the road and then I will see you at the next update. There are some slow pokes in front of me who do not do 190. No, they're only doing 110 right now. Oh, come on. But I have to say though, this car is stable even at 190 kilometers an hour. You can see that this is a German high performance or well, at least a fast German car. The consumption at the moment is 34.5 with a bit of slow driving kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers 34.5 some cars do not even do that while driving 130 kilometers an hour this car is so efficient a benefit of not being a big blobby suv oh there we go power yeah only rear wheel drive people Man, I cannot imagine how ridiculously quick the M <clears throat> sorry, how ridiculously quick the M50 is. All right, first update. The car has used 25% state of charge, and on that 25%, I have driven 55 kilometers. That means 220 kilometers of range. Again, consumption 35.4 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers on average. This is one impressive machine. Oh, I like it. I think this car might be my new favorite electric car. Yeah, 
<laughs> I think it might be. Yes, indeed. Okay, I am at my turnaround point and this is the most north that I have ever driven while doing a top speed range test. Again, this car is insane. I am almost at the most northern point, or at least at that line, of the mainland of the Netherlands. <laughs> Crazy! Yep, 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 yep. But anyway, the car has used 40% state of charge and I have driven 90 kilometers on that 40%. And I am turning around because, well, some cars... How are the main beams? Ooh, that is good. Because some cars, uh, with some cars, the second part or the second half of your state of charge goes quicker than the first half. And if that is the case with this car, well, I want to reach the charger. So that's why I am turning around now. I hope that made a little sense because the English sentences are not my thing uh, today. Anyway, this is the highway. Let's go for it. And let's go floor it. <laughs> you get it? I hope you do. I fought really hard on that one. 150, 60, 70, 80. Uh, 190 kilometers an hour, 193 on the speedometer, and that's actually 187 on the GPS. So I'm not really doing 190 kilometers per hour, I'm actually doing 187. But hey, that's how it is, the car is limited, so... Yeah, well, let's drive half an hour, half an hour south, I want to say back, but back south, well, it's the same. Let's drive half an hour south and then I am at the charger. Alrighty viewers, there's a thing and that is that on the way north my consumption was 35 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. I was really impressed with that. I turned around, gave power and I noticed I'm hearing a lot more wind noise in the car. It is a lot noisier here. So I think when going north we had tailwind, now we have headwind. And because of the headwind, the consumption is not 35 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. It is more 44 to 45 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. I thought maybe it is the battery cooling kicking in somehow. But I don't think so. I think it is the headwind or maybe a combination. But yeah, it's a good thing that I turned around because I'm not even sure I can make the charger right now because, well, the car is consuming a lot more around eight kilowatt hours i mean that's quite a lot it's a good thing though because well it levels out headwind and then no tailwind and then headwind that one will level each other out and you will get the average consumption but yeah this is a thing i will see if i can reach the charger while doing top speed and otherwise well i do have to drive a little bit slower anyway i hope that you hear me it is quite noisy now yeah so I am at the charger, I arrived here at the charger while doing top speed, I did not have to slow down, and I arrived here at the charger with 8% and I started the test with 99%. So that means I've used 91%. On that 91% I have done 184.0 kilometers. So you can do on average with the BMW i4 eDrive 40 while doing 190 kilometers an hour, 202 kilometers on average because again I had tailwind on the way north and then my consumption was 35 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers I was really really impressed by that and also with the quietness in the in the car I thought man this car is so insanely quiet but I didn't look at the wind because as soon as I turned around it got noisier in here and also the consumption went up from 35 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers to around 45 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. A 30% increase in consumption only by having headwind. And quite a lot of headwind though, because again, the wind is picking up. But that was quite a lot. So on average, you can do 202 kilometers with this car. When having no wind or tailwind, you can do around 220. When you have headwind, you can do around 170 to 175, and that is the result. 
The temperature was not 10 degrees, it was around 12 degrees Celsius. The average consumption was 38.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And I still think that is really good. That is a benefit of not being a blobby SUV or crossover. I mean, 38.8, there are cars that when driving 130 kilometers per hour do 33 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And this one does around 38 to 40 while doing 190. Really good, I'm really impressed with this car. So anyway, that was the result. I hope you liked it and if you did, please give a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment and it would be awesome if you subscribed. And then I would like to say now, thank you a lot for watching and as always, to be continued. To be continued, yeah, that is better. To be continued.